And here at home, graduate workers at the University of Missouri have voted to form a union. The results came in earlier tonight. ABC 17's Lucas Geisler joins us live from campus now. And Lucas, 84% of the student workers voted for this. Yeah, and when those results came in, Joey, I spoke with co-chair of the, gra the Coalition of Graduate Workers, Connor Lewis, who says that nearly 800 of those students cast a vote in this. Now, other students I spoke to at the polls today say it's an important step to put pressure on the school's administration to act. Joe Ruley will leave Mizzou with a master's in music in a few weeks. A union never represented his interests in school, but his father, he says, benefited from the University of Wisconsin's union during his time. My vote can say something for future generations, even if it doesn't affect me directly. It will affect the more than 2,000 graduate students at Mizzou. The Coalition of Graduate Workers asked the League of Women Voters to conduct an election on whether or not grad students should unionize. Coalition organizer Sarah Lyerly McCune tells me uncertainty over issues like health insurance require a strong voice from students. We don't know if we're going to have insurance after next year. We don't know what's going to happen. We need a contract. Promises are not enough. Chancellor Hank Foley criticized the vote late last week, saying legal issues would stop the university from recognizing their students as employees. For Ruley, though, unionizing would make the process of working together easier. At least if there's a a union in place with an option for students to participate in that, then again, there can be a little bit more of a clarity of, of vision and goals and in going to the administration. But this is what we want, this is what we need. Now, it's ultimately up to the university to decide whether or not to recognize the graduate students and graduate workers as employees here. Both sides agree that this may need to be settled in a court of law. Reporting live in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News.